restaurant a coffee? No. I'll get one at Roy's. <laughs> what do you think I'm going to do, spit in it? <laughs> well, you've done worse. Right, what is wrong with you? Same thing that's wrong with my brother. A terrible stabbing pain in the back. Now, the quicker that you do one, the better. I don't want to be around you any more than you want to be around me. Why don't you move out? I'm sorry, what? It makes sense for you to move in with your gran and for Rana to move in here. You want me to pack my bags so that you and my sister-in-law can shack up? Really? Kate, in what world does that happen? The real one, where adults live. <laughs> so stop behaving like a toddler and move on. If Sudan can do it, I'm damn sure you can. What are you doing? Oh, I'm working. What? Well, it's complicated. Mm. Too much for my little blonde brain. Well, if you must know, steering's gone. It needs a new steering rack. Mind if I have a look? Well, I am busy. I'm interested. Right, if I let you look, will you leave me alone? Cross me out. Not yourself out. Hmm. Ball and socket, I've seen better days. Oh, yeah. That's why the whole thing needs replacing. Rally driver, is he? What? The owner. Because unless he's going off-road, he could get away with a new track rod in. You know I'm a train mechanic, don't you? If I say it needs a new steering rack, it needs a new one. I'm not a rip-off merchant. I never said you were, but a new track rod end would be a hell of a lot cheaper for him. Yeah, and so would a pair of furry dice, but that's not going to fix the problem. Oi, oi, oi. What's all the row about? Just a difference of opinion. But take my word for it, mate. A new track rod end would sort that out. No danger. I'm a good flaming expert, aren't they? Shona! Hiya. Get in the car now, we're gonna be late for school. Why can't I talk to Shona? I said get in the car. Thanks for coming in. I've not dealt with Dorms on my own before. Oh, they're fine. Apply Chris with enough red and he'll sign anything. Mm. Not stayed handy, being able to pick your brains. You don't need me to hold your hand, you know. You got me for the morning only and then I'm done with this place. It's your baby. You'll pop in if I need you, though. Well, you shouldn't need me, should you? If your manager's doing the job properly. Look, I have every faith in Alia. She's well qualified. Mm. Paper qualifications are good for darts only. Got a visitor. Ah, now this one on the other hand will go far. All the way to the kettle, hopefully, cos I'm pa. She's not coming to wait on you lot. She's here to learn. This place runs on tea, and making a decent brew takes practice. Why don't you make it then? Cos the one you made this morning was like dishwater. <laughs> I wish I'd chucked it in the bog, cut out the middleman. <laughs> I make a great brew, don't I, babe? Depends how you like it, I suppose. Like it's been near a tea bag for a start. <gasps> That's the last brew you get out of me. Well, then, writing, please. And people <laughs> do shut the office door so they can't hear us. <laughs> so, you ready for the grand tour? Uh, yeah, whatever you say. How are you, love? Fine, thanks. Holding up OK? But I'm not being held up by the people. Yes. Well, you're taking interest. Well, I hope her folks weren't expecting a ransom, because there's not many that chipped in. She was kidnapped. It was a very traumatic experience. It's not like they sent her finger in the post, is it? Oh, Ooh, look who it is. Please. Hi. What can we do you for? I've gone upon with Dr. Gaddas just to check up and to make sure that everything was sorted regarding my medication, uh, transferring me notes to Spain. Oh, Spain. So jealous. Sunshine 24-7. I'm not at night. <laughs> but, yeah, be all right, I suppose. Well, Elizabeth, we'll take care of your details. I'm sure she'll give it her closest attention. I'm in good hands, I know. If only, hey? I wish you'd changed the flaming record. He is a married man. <sighs> Best ones always are. 
But it's just as well he's moving away. <clears throat> hey, I've got Mike to focus on now. I hope Johnny and Jenny will be very happy together. Hey, shouldn't you be perming pensioners? It's not all perms, thank you. Uh, Mrs. Weaver in yesterday, wanting a messy bob. Oh, Emma Stone's got one, it looks great. Emma Stone's not 83 next birthday, <laughs> though, is she? Still, if La La Land do a geriatric remake, then Mrs. Weaver is good to go. <laughs> Still don't explain why you're sat in there drinking coffee at half ten, though, does it? Honestly? Yeah. I'm sick of being around David. The salon floor is usually covered in lino and cut air, but at the moment it's wall to wall eggshells. Tell me about it. I'm so glad we moved out. Mm. Yeah, he was in here yesterday kicking off. Not to 60, two seconds flat. I needed a break from him, so I'm taking one. In fact, I'm going to meet the shops later if you haven't seen it. Oh, I'd love to, but I'm working. I'll come if you can wait half an hour until I clock off. Yeah, I've got all the time in the world. I might even have another brew. How about you guys? Do you know, I shouldn't, but yes, I will. No, not for me. I've uh, got stuff to do. See you later. Thanks, Mrs. Cochran. I'll see you next time. Thank you. She seemed happy enough. You're joking, aren't you? Is Marino sheep walking around with better cuts than that? I can't work with grand scissors. I'm like really sorry I lost your scissors. I'm sure they'll turn up. If they do, I'll get you a replacement set. Yeah, Mr. Gary. Smashing. I hate formality. Call me M if you like. None of this long winded Emma nonsense. Well, it's four letters, isn't it? Mm. What do you want? A few minutes of your time. I think you're due a break, Em. No, I've only just come back. Well, on, turn 15. I suppose I could call some of these estate agents. I'm looking for a flat, you see. Just <laughs> go, will you? What's this, then? Near for a rematch? They're on the brink. They're desperate to raise cash. By flogging material for a third of the price that they paid. I no wonder they've gone bust. <sighs> Don't you have somewhere to be? No. No, I, and to be honest, I'm quite enjoying my stroll down memory lane. Have a look at the figures. We'd be mad not to take it off their hands. It does look a good deal. Well, I don't think that's right. We have to move fast, otherwise someone else will nip it. Well, have you checked that song? Do you want me to make the call? Hang on a minute. What are you trying to say, love? I don't think that maths is right. Look. V. Oh, come on, we're wasting time. I didn't mean to cause any bother. No, don't worry. Look, it's better to be safe than sorry. <sighs> sorry? Yeah, you're flaming would have been. Did you use a calculator? I didn't need to. No? It could have cost Aidan thousands. This is a worse deal than a regular supplier's. Look. I don't understand. I think you forgot to carry the ten. And you call yourself a manager. All right, Carla. But we all make mistakes. Is it any wonder I messed up with her on my back? I don't even know what she's doing here anymore. Excuse me. Look, guys, I... just... That's enough. Alia, I don't suppose you can get us a couple of coffees, could you? And if you want one yourself, that's 30. Oh, no, three. <laughs> yeah, it is an easy mistake to make, though. Hmm. Well, I don't know what you want from me, but we just hurry up and get to the point. Well, I was hoping it'd come from you. What would? <laughs> OK, look, I'm not wanting some kind of revenge. This has already gone way too far, innit? I just don't want any more bad blood. What do you think I do? I mean, for the record, I am really sorry yeah, for Yeah, I know you are. I know you are. You didn't know what you were doing, did you? Because you're still dumb. And you haven't for ages. I don't know what you mean. Yeah, you do. You do. Look, I've known you a long time, and fair enough, you've never been what we'd call, uh, well-balanced. Cheers. But lately, it's a whole new level. Mate, you're coming apart. There's nothing wrong with me. Yeah, that's what they all said. Who? Guys I served with. Guys who'd seen things, had bad experiences. Went through it myself when I saw Quinny die. Look, Gary, I know you mean well, but the red mist came down and I just got... Look at me, I ended up in a coma. <laughs> Mate, you got to face up to it, call it PTSD, call it a breakdown, call it a shell shock, whatever, it don't matter. 
something's tipped you over the edge. And we both know what it is. Well, I'm impressed, Doctor. Perhaps I should stretch out on the couch and we could do this properly. I didn't want to believe it either. But I meant you got a problem. Don't make me any less of a man, does it? No problems on that score. Have you forgotten what happened in the ring? <laughs> I remember it every time I look in the mirror, don't I? But I don't blame you. Anyone would be scarred losing the wife the way that you did. What, so you think keeping it to yourself's a better option, do you? Cos it's not worked very well so far, has it? I mean, you turn your car into a bomb and you almost killed my mum. And that wasn't this red mist, was it? That was weeks in the planning. All right, OK. All right, you got me. I'm really struggling with the death of Kylie, all right? But I'm dealing with it. Not by telling people who care to do what you know. They're the ones who'll get you through this. So stop pushing them away. Yeah, all right, I will. Message received, all right, understood. I hope so. Because you do not want to get stuck with this on your own. That's when the trouble really starts. Hey, slacker. You're open in a couple of days. Furniture's not arrived yet. Oh, you want to give him a call? Clock's ticking. Diet working, then? Well, it's called comfort eating. Carla's pitched up at the factory. What, she's still yanking your chain? No, it's not just that. Kate's been mouthing off. She wants me to move out so Rana can move in. Can you believe it? Kind of makes sense, I suppose. <laughs> Is that all you've got to say? Look, I hate the idea even more than you, but what do you want me to say? Over my dead body? Well, yeah, something like that. Well, she just stepped over me, sis, so short of another kidnap attempt, there's nothing I can do to stop her. That is what she wants, and as for Kate... What about her? Aidan spoke to me. He's worried about Rana's parents, what they might do next, whether they'd come after Kate. Oh, please, like that's your concern. He just wants me to keep an eye out. I don't want anyone getting hurt. But whatever happens to them, they put it on themselves. You need to focus on yourself and the business. Z, are you listening to me? Oh, I better chase up this furniture. I'll see you later. It was an easy mistake. I sewed up a leg hole. Yeah, but it, it was very neat. I made a brow with three cups once. Oh, yeah, I remember that. She wore it as a hat. She looked like a Spitfire pilot. <laughs> Tell me, it's lovely and warm. Oh, it could be a nice little uh, sideline for you, that. Are you enjoying the world of work? No, it's great. I would come every day if I could for nothing. Mm, steady on. Don't be putting ideas in his head. Oh, it's all right. I can't anyway. Billy's coming back tomorrow. Well, that's great news. Which means I'll have to help look after him. Well, if you ever need a reference going forward, don't hesitate to ask. You've done really well. She must have done. Never buys us lunch. Mm. Mm. All right. All right, I'll get around it. Oh, yay! yay! I'd just like to do a proper job, that's all. Yeah, I know you do, pal. I'm just telling it like it is. Well, talk of the devil. I didn't do it. Oh, yes, she did. He was right about that car. Rack Endel did a job. Really? In his opinion. I've washed my hands of it. If anything goes wrong, it's on you two. Well, I'll take my chance. What are you drinking? Snake bite, huh? Yeah. Usual tie. Not that thirsty. You sure it's safe? Yeah, it'll be fine. Unless the bloke's gonna use it as a moon bugger. Tide always just being careful. He's always been belt and braces. Matt, I won't expect a Christmas card off him. Nah, he's sulking. He'll be fine. Don't beat yourself up. I'm impressed. <laughs> it's good of you to let come in, but I'm just helping the kid out. He'll be fine. Oh, I think it's lovely what you're doing for her, especially after all she's been through. I'm not after a medal. Well, no, but there's not many people who take the time. Hey. I think one day you'll be a great dad. <laughs> well, I've had a pretty good teacher. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> it's true. You were a great daddy. 
Where? Oh, <laughs> hold up. I'm only going to Spain. I'm hoping to give you unwanted advice for many years to come. <laughs> I miss you. I miss you and also. I had a smoothie for lunch. I'm very happy for you. Well, you don't get to looking like that by eating chocolate, whatever that is. I doubt you'd want a second date if I looked like that. No, the beard would be a turn-off for a start. No, when you've been humiliated by a 13-year-old, you need stodge and plenty of it. You know, Carla loved every second. Don't let her get to you. She's not even your boss anymore. Isn't she? I mean, they reckon this morning was a one-off, but I believe it when I see it. And women like her, they can't let go. Look, she might have more experience, but you've got more upstairs. You turn this into a battle of wits, then Carla's taking a knife to a gunfight. What's that supposed to mean? Instead of getting all het up, put your emotions to one side and use your head. She won't know what's hit her. Right. I'll see you in the pub after. If you're lucky. See ya. MacDonald, quel plaisir de vous voir. Vous êtes une vision, comme toujours. <laughs> I don't know what you said, but I like it. <laughs> I was never very good at French. Yeah, you'll soon pick it up. You know, your Andrew had no trouble at all. Where's young Stephen? Mm -mm. Yeah. You can lead a cheval to lure, but you can't make a drink. <laughs> You'll have to give me a few lessons, eh? I could polish up my Spanish while we're at it. I'd like that very much. Maybe we could get together over a bottle of something. Wee oui, wee. Oui. <laughs> I was thinking more Pinot Noir myself. Oh. <laughs> oh, sorry, I wasn't better company. Hey, don't be daft. You stopped me from buying that top anyway. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it wasn't that bad. It did show a lot of um... uh, everything. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> Darren's fine in a changing room, but it's not so great in the playground, is it? <laughs> well, the dads might have liked it. Yeah, the mums wouldn't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, playground politics. Still, not my worry anymore, is it? Oh, don't. I really miss you out there. Do you want me to have another word with David? What would you say? I've no idea what triggered it all. Yeah. All right. I do know one thing, though. David was fine when they were mates. He's not been the same since they fell out. Mm. Yeah, there's definitely more to it than a failed bromance. I reckon it's most likely a casualty of whatever's eating him up. I suppose. Right, do you know what? I might be wasting my breath, but I'm going to give it another go, David. We've been mates a long time, haven't we? Who knows? I might make some headway. <laughs> oh, thanks. <laughs> See ya. See ya. You sure you don't want a cup of tea? I didn't want one two minutes ago, so what makes you think I'm going to want one now? I thought you might have changed your mind. Well, I haven't. But if I do, you'll be the first to know. See, so your mood's not improved. There's nothing wrong with my mood that 20 seconds of silence won't fix. I was just making conversation. Well, don't. All right? I'm not a punter. I don't stare 18 hours a day out of a window of a retirement bungalow, OK? Open for post. I don't need talk. I don't need to be talked to. All right, David, give her a break. I thought you were having a day off. Yes, I was, but you'll be chuffed to hear that I need to talk to you. Oh, what is wrong with everyone? Why can't you just leave me alone? Five minutes, that's all. Can't it wait? No, it can't. And we'll be best off doing it upstairs, I reckon. Well, who's going to mind the salon? Well, if someone comes in, then we can make them a coffee while they wait, can't you, love? Shall I? Right, come on. Won't keep you, I promise. Yeah, grab these. Fine, whatever. Just try not to burn the place down, though, yeah? So, are you was telling me that I had to move out? And well, you know how I don't be in, like, told what to do. Well, what did you say? Well, I said she should move out. Actually, I suggested that she swap places with you. And the more I think about it, the more it makes sense. If you're happy with it. I don't know. It would be nice to be consulted. Well, it's just a spur of the moment thing. Well, it's a big step. My head's all over the place after what happened. We need to think this through properly. What's there to think about? I love you. You reckon you love me. We should be together. Hey, you okay? Um, 
Not really. My payment to the furniture company's bounced. I hooked your dad's last check had cleared before he stopped it, but no such luck. I see. Yeah, they've cancelled the delivery. I've got a kitchen full of food, but nowhere for people to sit and eat it. I can't open. It's over before it started. I'm sorry to hear that, but we were just... You can't give up now. We can't let them win. Not after what they've done to us. <sighs> What's the alternative? Well, think of something. Come on. Hold on. Wait, wait. Well, I'll call you. How many outfits does one woman need? No, a bit of retail therapy work's one does. Although I don't think a trip round the Trafford Centre is going to cut it for you somehow. I'm absolutely fine. Are you? You know, after Kylie died, I thought I'd never see you smile again. But Shona made you happy. David, you loved being a, a family with her and the kids, didn't you? She's better off without me. Well, that's not an answer. Well, it's the only one you're getting. Shona loves you. She's heartbroken. She doesn't know what she's done. <sighs> it's not her fault. So then whose fault is it? Why have you ended it? Things happen. What things? I know you still love her. Oh, Maria, just leave it, will you? No, I won't. I won't stand by and watch you mess your life up yet again. If you can look me in the eye now, and tell me that you don't love Shona, then you can leave. Whoa. What was that? What are you doing? Oh, come on. Can't say you haven't wondered what it'd be like, you and me. I can say. We're mates. We're good mates, but that's it. I thought you felt the same. No, it's, it's you I really want. Maybe it always has been. Coronation Street's back in half an hour.